Welcome to barbecuecoach.com. Today I'm going to show you how to honey glaze a ham. Honey and brown sugar. And the reason I'm doing this is because these hams, they, they, uh, they come from the grocery store. They're supposed to be honey glazed, but there's not much glaze on them. And then they, they send you this uh, package of uh, brown sugar, basically, with a little little seasonings in it might be some uh, cinnamon in there or whatever but it's basically just brown sugar and you have to put the glaze on yourself anyway so you might as well do it right uh, they, they tell you to put it in the oven with this glaze on it and do it that way but uh, you're not going to get the caramelization li like you will if you, if you use a torch like this so I'm just going to show you how to honey glaze a ham. I, so, I sort of like uh, the honey brown sugar flavor. So I'm going to use honey and brown sugar, but you can use, uh, you could, you could use plain old white sugar. As a matter of fact, that's what uh, honey baked hams uses. They use uh, plain old white sugar and they use a, a a big old blowtorch thing like this and it only takes them a few uh, about a minute to, to honey glaze a ham seems like they only do one side and let it uh, drip drip all around onto the bottom and everything but uh, there's no reason why you shouldn't do uh, both sides and get it really caramelized on uh, on all sides and those honey baked hams are way up on there uh, close to ten dollars a pound these spiral cut hams and that's what this is a spiral cut pre-cooked or smoked ham uh, they're more like you can get them anywhere from a uh, buck 69 a pound on up, on up to 269 a pound somewhere in that range so you can save yourself a lot of money by doing this yourself so let's get started I'm gonna move the camera on in up here a little bit so you can see everything real close and we'll glaze this ham up. By the way, I'm just gonna use a regular old uh, propane torch here. I think this is what works the best. You can, you can try this brush burner thing, but uh, you better do it outside and it puts out a flame about that long, so you can't have all this paper here and all that kind of stuff, so make sure you're not going to catch anything on fire if you use if you use the brush burner. It's got to be on a pretty much a metal table. Uh, everything's got to be metal. All I got here is a a uh, wood carving board and a foil lined baking sheet here. So if I use that brush burner, it would catch this paper on fire and everything. So I'm just going to use that. There's also the option of using one of these flat uh, spreaders, flame spreaders, but that didn't, it didn't put out enough, you know, it's, it, it just wasn't the right kind of flame for me. It, I don't know if this thing's not working right or what, but didn't like that, so I'm going to use that. Okay. Okay, basically I got a spiral cut smoked ham here, and I... I already applied a light coat of honey, just regular old honey, and uh, used the torch a little bit to melt the honey, get it melted just a little bit. I haven't caramelized, you know, the honey was a little bit cold, so I just used the torch to heat it up a little bit. I've already put most of the honey on here, but I'll just show you real quick. As you can see, this honey is real thick. You're putting that on a cold ham. You don't want to spread around too easily, so just hit it with this and melt it a little bit and get it get it all down in between the slices. And you don't want a real thick coat of, of honey. 
just a light coat, just sort of like a glue. And by the way, I got a website set up where it tells you how to, these basically already pre-cooked pre hams, so you don't have to smoke them like you would a Boston butt or whatever. You just have to reheat them. So I got a website already set up for that. So I'm just going to apply my brown sugar now, lightly. There we go. Now you don't. You, the trick is trick in doing this is the don't burn it. Once it starts turning brown, it'll it'll be caramelized. Especially this uh, this brown sugar, it, it it'll caramelize quicker than white sugar. White sugar just basically turns into a sort of like a syrup, and you really gotta use a lot more heat with white sugar. So you don't need as much heat with brown sugar. It'll caramelize almost instantly. So when it starts turning brown, you don't want to burn that molasses in that brown sugar. So as you can see right there, it's already caramelizing. That's about as far as you need to go with it. Just keep the keep the flame moving. Make sure you get it all melted. That's about right right there. You don't want to get it any more any more darker than that. Looking good. Like I said, this was supposed to be a honey glazed ham when I bought it, but there wasn't much glaze on it at all. Just keep patting it on there and melting it on. It'll melt all down in between those slices. Mm -mm -mm. You can put some other spices in, in with this mixture, like cinnamon, whatever you want. Maybe cut off a a slice and do a test run before before you do the whole ham because uh, some of those spices may burn so just do a test run You can use cinnamon, maybe pepper, 
maybe a honey mustard, ginger, nutmeg, When you're done with this side, just flip it over and do the other side. I've seen some videos on YouTube where Honey Bake Ham employees do it, but they just set it up on a metal cylinder type thing and get that big blowtorch and they just they just do one side and let it melt down the sides and it really doesn't even get on the bottom. I don't know why they do it that way. As you can see here, in just a few minutes, I've already done one side. It doesn't take long. Of course you can't do this in a barbecue contest. Don't, don't try doing this to your Boston butts or whatever. Totally illegal. Give it a flip. Honey's already applied. Put that brown sugar on there lightly. This sugar wouldn't stick at all. So it's sort of hard to get it to stick with the honey on there, so. It'd be really hard to get it to stick without the honey. So that honey really helps and gives it a nice flavor. A lot of people just eat these things cold. But if you're going to do this, do this after you warmed up your your ham. You don't want to warm up your ham in the oven after you've caramelized it because then all the caramelization will melt off. There you go. That's what I'm talking about right there. Nice. Mmm. -mm. Mm, nice and crunchy. Mmm, -mm -mm -mm. that's delicious. Give it a try at home. <laughs>